Hello and welcome to a new episode of City Driver. Today we're going to take a look at a new build of City Driver where we're gonna start in the parking garage. So let's just start it after the short break. Back on YouTube, back with some City Driver, back with a just new version. I've been to the States, I've been to Berlin and basically also been in holiday for the week so we are back on youtube we are back with some new content and we are just starting up our new vehicle so let's get ready and let's take a look at the new build of city driver here for the pc where we oh now we good to go and we're gonna go in reverse and gonna make our way out of the parking garage and taking a look at the new version with some new features with some uh, well basically with a lot of improvement and how the game overall performs after quite yeah roughly two weeks without not seeing any simulator from my side so we're gonna make our way to the exit our radio is blasting some music after we had some yeah problems with it here in the parking garage as the signal is not as good as it used to be on the upper lift so let's yeah make our way through munich let's make our way through downtown munich we already feeded our gps with a direction and we're gonna make our way down there to actually pick up a mission for one of the next yeah videos of city driver so let's see looks free oh no some cars are coming there so we're gonna wait until these cars leaving and we can make our way onto the streets and i have to say i already gave the version a try and i have to say i'm super impressed of all of that version it played so great so many improvements from performance over ai up into two minor minor things which got changed which now feels way better than they done before and I'm looking really forward for your guys feedback so if it's the first time you see City Driver leave down in the comments what you think about City Driver as a game as a simulator if you are a viewer which already seen some footage of City Driver I'm kinda wanna know what you think of the improvements of the simulator overall and maybe you already seen it we got a release date for city driver so let's make our way you already seen some new stuff but i want to make sure to remind you make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to leave a like if you not done so yet i'm super happy and super thankful for all the support that you guys giving me it's an honor to create such content for you yeah and you might already seen it at the last traffic light people now start running if the traffic light turn red for them right now the animation is a bit over yeah over performing of running and that's gonna get reduced later closer to release as you see here in front he's really running and later down they will just walk faster it's just so we have a better yeah idea if this feature is working and have a instantly visual feedback besides that a lot of things been changed on the ai the ai feels now incredible good it really feels like a driving ai they speeding up like the guy right to us they some yeah, drive slower some drive faster some try to overcome another car and all a kind of stuff like that is now implemented and i have to say it feels really like a driving simulator it is now a driving experience overall and i'm super happy about that one because it's such great stuff that's happening all around city driver and it's getting closer and closing closer to be a final project overall to be a final product which you guys can then can then get their hands on i mean a lot of people already do i mean we have now roughly over 30 beta tester in our team and we're gonna add more in the upcoming weeks so if you're not done so make sure to check out the link to the discord in the video description where you can find a form to sign up for the beta test on pc for city driver and i'm more than happy to welcome you guys in the team and see how you guys react to city driver how you guys report bugs 
because I have to say it's a big big enchantment for the game to have such a great beta test team as we do it have it right now people do help so much and report especially minor things which we might overseen because we are like blind because we stuck so long into that game and people now coming first time playing the game give simply so much great input give so much great ideas how we can still improve the game and enchant it overall in one of these things the team will work on in the upcoming yeah days and weeks until release will be beside performance optimization and bug fixes the missions we're gonna renew all the missions which we already have in the game and we're gonna make them more entertaining yeah more entertaining so you're going to carry real boxes you're going to carry real groceries and all that kind of stuff overall the missions will get way 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 enchanted and also the training parkour the practice and parkour will get improved as well as we're going to use that for some kind of tutorial so if you're not dr drove a car b before or if you're new to city driver you might want to go there and get familiar with the features and how the cars gonna get driven and yeah driven uh, with different peripheral um, devices like wheels but also with controller or mouse and keyboard so you can get a get a better understanding a lot of minor things also been enchanted like the license plates now display right signs and they come up so you have a Munich one and stuff like that overall it just feels so much more polished overall already and it's gonna be polished within the last weeks up until released or even well months up until release even further another big thing i have to say is modding right now a few modding teams started to work on city driver as we always claimed we are gonna deliver vehicle modding at release and that's something we uh, part of the team is focusing right now finalizing the documentation for modder supporting the first modders so they can get a better understanding of what they can achieve in city driver and i'm also looking into cover these topic in the future so you guys which might have some skill in programming or 3d modeling or might want to learn something like that can simply get an idea how modding in city driver will work and i'm going to bring a box to life and a box to drive in game and maybe later down I'm going to buy a vehicle a 3d asset of a vehicle and get it in game to be driven so definitely stay tuned and make sure to subscribe if you also not want to miss something like that but over there there's something interesting there is the van and that's one of the not shown vehicles yet we're gonna have some new vehicles up until release and we're gonna showcase them later down the road we are still working on these vehicles and we want to make them something really unique and special because these vehicles are simply different to the one we got right now and will shine with yeah specific features each one of them and we really want to make them right so we're not showcasing them now but we are gonna bring them to showcase la later closer to release so let's see we're gonna go straight forward and i have to say it feels so great to drive in city driver it feels so unique but also great um driving here have the different steering options have the different ai behaviors it's just a joy it's something really really no other simulator brought before such a nice and such a yeah polished driving experience i would say really big fan of that one so we're gonna need to do a turn to the right and instantly afterwards to the left so let's see here we go making our first turn after the traffic light and then as i said we should move on and we should be able to do a turn to the right so uh, to the right and then to the left yes that's the way into the more residential area of munich where the speed limit is should also be 30 kilometers an hour i believe but we're gonna take yeah an open eye we're gonna 
take a uh, keep an open eye for any traffic sign that will give us an idea of how fast we can go here a lot of parked cars i actually driving with roughly 50 percent of ai traffic to simply for the video have a more freedom to ride and not always get stuck in traffic yeah 30 kilometers are allowed here so we're gonna try to not overstep that too much oh one-way street so no one can come from that direction and we're gonna do another turn to the right and move closer and closer to our final destination and i'm super looking forward i'm super surprised what you guys gonna say for that new version i simply have to say it looks so polished now and it look really close to a finalized game so if you see anything um, that might be not seen off the beta testers and you want to make sure get fixed up until release let us know this in the comments i'm more than happy to read through that but also let me know what you think is done right and done well so electric vehicle in front of us and we're gonna do as i said the turn to the right also the passengers by or better said the pedestrians been and been improved so we have now more different color options of them so you're not gonna see twins of each other's or copies of each other's next to them so just more variation overall should help a lot so let's see moving out of the residential area back onto one of the main roads of munich here to our left and yeah we got some green traffic lights so we are good to go oh actually we're gonna speed up and take the yellow light perfect yeah especially the missions will bring in more features and more things to do in city driver so if you ever have no idea where to go and explore the map or explore some kind of shops in city driver you will have the option to pick one of the missions and simply then have preset features have preset goals and have preset things to do uh, like delivery missions or delivering of a car parking a car exchanging a car and all kind of stuff like that so we should look for a parking slot and i see quite some on the left side so we're gonna move into the roundabout in front in front at that grayish tower and gonna do a loop around the roundabout and move back into that street and then park on the opposite side here was another parking slot so that should be easily done and that should showcase how great the roundabout actually is and how great it feels to drive through that big big roundabout in front of us which comes with i believe three lines more and more i get used to munich city and to the streets of Munich so I have a better idea where we are at and what should be seen in front of us and I also can't wait for the map to expand over time to get more autobahn to get more inner city routes and stuff like that so make your turn ah there's another car coming that's why he's, a he's actually waiting and we are gonna pass him and we're gonna enter the roundabout in front of us as i said another parking slot to our left so we might gonna pick that one because that one is close no car is coming good to go good to move in the roundabout and i had to learn in the us people actually are, have the priority to drive which come into the roundabout which is completely opposite to the behavior we have in germany and i believe all over europe and it was kind of hard to understand that especially driving in san francisco was some kind of i would call it experience with all the stop signs and all that stuff with yeah all that kind of stuff i i had a rental car i had a tesla model 3 and finally i could compare it to the one we have here in game so at our parking spot let's find and let's try to park yeah looks good car behind us is a bit close so we might gonna need two turns to get into that parking slot 
but should be manageable overall. Yeah, just going a bit forward again. And now we should be able to do that. You hear the beeping sound of the park pilot system, but that makes it really easy to get into the parking lot to park our car and to be good to go for the next video with one of the upcoming missions here in City Driver. I really hope you enjoyed what you've seen today from City Driver. We're gonna shut down our car really quick, get into park position, yeah, turn off the light and leave our vehicle. Hope you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe and see you soon. Bye bye.